Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. <clears throat> so as always, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out a ton on the channel. Um, there is a chance we might stream on Twitch um, some Warhammer. Definitely when Warhammer 3 comes out, we'll stream it on Twitch. But even Warhammer 2, it is possible, maybe one or two days, if we can get enough people in there. Um, right now we just stream League from 12 to 3, but Warhammer is a possibility in the future. 12 to 3 in the morning, that is. What And why do I do those crazy hours? Because I do a lot of stuff during the day. Right? I teach at a university, I've got a family, I've got some adulting stuff to do. So I just try to wait until everybody is asleep. Um, and that's just the best time for me to do it. I know it's kind of rough on a lot of schedules out there. <laughs> but... Anyways, let's go ahead and get in here. So we're just trying to be really aggressive. I think I moved pretty quickly last episode for me. Um, I try to move as I'm trying to move as fast as I can without. Um, I mean, they, they've got to come to us. So I don't know why I'm trying to move up. <laughs> just have them coming to us. So the biggest thing to deal with are going to be the um, the horses. Oh crap, I forgot they have mortars. Huh. So we did take a little bit of damage off of that. Oh my gosh. All right, we're just gonna have to run in there, I guess. I do not want them to mess up my big ends. God, these outriders are so obnoxious. Oh, I gotta get these trolls in there too. Sorry about the trolls. God, these mortars are really putting in some work. I'm just going to stand still there, so maybe my stuff will do better. Okay, they're aiming for my spiders, which is good, because I eventually just want to get rid of those spiders.
You know, they're taking a lot more casualties than I would like right here. I'm probably going to have to retreat. I was thinking about going for their capital, but... I mean, it's possible we could, but I don't know. Still seriously getting chased by those. There we go. I mean, our trolls are still <clears throat> in perfect shape. I'm not going to be able to hold the capital, most likely. I mean, if the Skaven comes straight at me, it's going to be a problem. If they just hop that wall with, like, 220 stacks. And I'm probably going to have some, like, fresh recruit opportunities... very soon. I think it was like six more turns on growth level three. I could just go over and fight the Skaven. I might be able to get a temporary peace with them. Just to buy some time and just milk the money on those uh, couple of towns that I have. Obviously they're going to rebel eventually and fall, but maybe get a few thousand gold out of it. I mean, I could try to take it. I do have enough to maybe hire a lord. Okay, that's really nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so we get an extra five leadership. Man, he is just the master of leadership. Okay, they literally have nothing. Just take one or two extra turns. I don't. There's no Skaven presence here. How do they already have Osmosis? Where is that? From here? Dude, that's nuts, man. It's already affecting my public order a little bit is annoying. So yeah, we get that, that cooldown reduction. It's pretty big. Okay. How much for a raid here? 224. We get a little bit of replenishment. We do have 50 scrap. I think I want to use it on that just yet, though. Um, okay, that's only for Savage Orcs, where you get the 5% casualty. But the melee attack for all Orcs is good. How's that garrison looking? Not very big. I, th I think we can beat them just with trolls in the garrison. Let's combine a couple of these just to save a little cash. Yeah, I can get there in one turn for sure. Now they're gonna hire a lord. Hopefully I didn't forget to 
think this is the first turn that's been eligible. It's possible I forgot it for a turn. Now, I might just loot and occupy this just to force a rebellion immediately so I can just go ahead and kill it and then just have this done with if I want to try to hold this property. All right. We can't, you can globally recruit off of raiding as well, which is very nice. Um... But obviously, we don't want to sit around for two turns. Okay, yeah, I mean, if they roll up literally right now, it's going to be a problem. If they jump this with 220 stacks. I don't see any Skaven presence, though, or it would say Skaven Corruption some amount. If they had a hero on my property, I think. I'm not even sure if they can make that jump from here to here. I think they can. They might have to stand right here, but... I mean, we just, that's, we just gotta risk it. Oops. Gosh, I need to get a new mouse. Yeah, it's worth a shot. You have to be, like, extremely, okay, never mind, I guess they will hook it up. Sometimes you, if you're good allies with people, you can get 300 gold every like 10 turns or something. It's not like a huge deal, but it does add up early on in the game, especially in Legendary. Okay, um, six turns growth there. We're just gonna hope Skaven doesn't jump that wall and get us right now. We do have a pretty low military rank um, overall, so that does make it more likely that people will declare war on us and try to attack us. Okay, there's a lot of wars going down. I don't think I want to spend the money. Enemies get minus five. Ain't worth worrying about. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be recruiting a lot for a few turns, I don't think, so. It's, uh, that vampiric corruption is kind of rough. Why is it not? I don't understand. This is adjacent to this too, so why is this not getting the corruption? Oh, maybe she's the one that has it? Okay, maybe it's her. Probably her. Okay, so they should just have a lord and a handful of units. I, I think we can beat that on a siege. I'm pretty sure we can beat that. It is a little on the spooky side. Always wow! Well, I can't even get a battering ram in one turn. Hmm. Now just one rock lobber is not ideal, but okay. I haven't seen all of the details of the way that they are redoing sieges, but um. In Warhammer 3. But I really like some of the different systems they have where you get resources during a siege. 
I think just if you're the defender, you might get some if you're the attacker. But by doing different things, I think you get resources, and then that allows you to build defenses in the town, which is pretty cool. So it seems to favor defenders a lot more. Because right now, it can actually be almost disadvantageous with some comps to be in the town, right? If you have a lot of cavalry, or you're facing down a bunch of artillery, those walls can actually work against you. Okay, so do I just run up the front with the trolls and... Just have the trolls and the biggins up front, I guess. And have everyone else climb. These are just pretty much worthless, so I'm I'm kind of down just to have them die. Those aren't siege attackers, no. Wait, why are we slowed? Oh, divine power, 50% miscast chance. Huh, that's actually pretty obnoxious. Damn, the seeds are taking way more damage than I thought they would. None of the individual units have fallen, though. One, one troll fell. Hopefully they don't, like, crack open the door. Okay, they're doing that pretty quickly. Oh, wow, you can cast that on top? I didn't realize that. That's pretty nice, actually. Okay, yeah, they're actually doing some serious damage there. Dang, okay. No spears. You love to see it. are taking some heat over there. Where's their lord? He's chilling in the back somewhere. I mean... I don't think there's any way I can preserve them. I mean, they're... They're not getting completely wiped up, like, super fast, but... This will cause everybody to cause terror. Yeah, I'm probably just going to lose the catapult. I mean, there's just no way. Like, these things are just firing on it, and I can't stop them from doing that, so... 
Nice. We got a root. Okay, that was a temporary terror, but they have recovered. Okay, there's their lord. Running in the corner, boys. <sighs> they have anything back here? I think no. Yeah, so it's a tough fight. We're gonna definitely take some casualties off of this, but I think it's hopefully a good decision, we'll see. Trolls are putting in some work. This is a seven, it's eight. Maybe our catapults don't get rounded off. It'd be really cool if they didn't. But we'll just have to see. Yeah, I mean that looks like they should be ha or they should have sweeping attacks. I didn't realize they um, were double-handed. What are they classified as? Sword infantry. So they should either get two attacks or they should have sweeping strikes because they they are, you know, dual wielding. Let's make sure we kill this fool. That one was actually a close victory. We got them, but we definitely had to pay a price for it. Brain Busta is coming in clutch there. That guy, I guess, had a skill or something that was giving me the 50% miscast chance, which is pretty obnoxious. But I think in vanilla, your miscast base chance is zero if you don't overcast. But if you overcast, pretty much if that debuffs on you, you're going to miscast every time. Which... Um, just does damage to you. A pretty good chunk of damage. So let's see. We may have lost the catapults. Probably not. Lost an orc boy, most likely. And we're, we're dinged up. So, could be rough. We'll see. We are going to loot and occupy, like I said, just to try to get that rebellion right now. So 
hopefully we can just go ahead and kill it. Unless it's a huge sack. I mean, that is a very big sack, though. <laughs> We'd be leaving almost 3,000 gold on the table. Can we kill a rebellion? I mean, we could just make goblins if we have to, if we don't get an orc building. I think we're going to... I think I'm going to stick with the plan. So we are losing some gold, but just the fact that we should be able to trigger rebellion immediately. Now, we're going to be occupying it, though. So that will help with the public order for a turn. I guess we'll just sack and occupy. Gobbo to boys. Okay, I have to wait till level 12. We want that immediately. We want this at level 11. Skull Muncher at 14. So once we get to 11, we need one, two three points all of these are super good well three of them are super good this one's okay mm. so if I were to save right now as soon as I hit 12 could go one two let's see how many are we gonna have we're gonna have seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I could have six points one, two, three, four, five, six. I could get all of these. And then I want this one as well. So I could just start saving points right now. We lose out on 30% raiding is not bad considering you can just kind of always raid. We lose out on a little bit of money there. Death from above is really good with rock lobbers, which we're going to get a lot of those, probably. But, getting all of this stuff. I guess, like, that's not amazing. Like, I guess really just one of these is, like, you really want it right away. That's really good, though, too. We're pretty good. Okay, so maybe we only need to save two. So what else could we get that's helpful? I mean, maybe we just do the rock lobbers. Getting the lightning strike is very, very good, though. It's one of the best skills in the game. Smash them faster. And then Renown and Feared is obviously extremely good. Mob boss is good. Out Cleavering is pretty good. Okay, so if we go death from above. We get these rock lobbers up pretty fast. Yeah, that, that's going to give a lot of rock lobbing. I guess we can just go death from above. Because, like, these points are kind of bad. Like, these four points are, like, okay, but not insane. It's basically like five, six points to get Lightning Strike pretty much with a couple of other perks. Or three points for the Catapults. I guess. I guess we can go with this. So 30% rating or 15% sacking. Probably just 15% on the sack. Some of these sacks are like 5,000, so that's, you know, a lot of gold, like 750 extra gold, something like that, versus the rating, you know, be rating for maybe three or 400 in a lot of provinces. You can raid more often than sacking, probably, but... I feel like sacking's going to be the big payday. It's a tough call. 
Because if I do death from above right now, is I'm not going to get lightning strike until I get a lot of these other things first. Like I'm going to stop and do like three or four points here. I'm going to I have to get skull muncher, get on with it for sure, and then these two. So I'm not even going to have a chance to even take a look at lightning strike for a while. And we there's a chance we could have some tough fights coming up. So. Is the ammo really an issue, though? Do you... Alright, I guess we'll just go Ravager. Because usually they're up on us with their main units before we even run out of ammo. Okay, Evasion. We're just trying to get to uh, Foot of Gork here. Then probably here we go. Foot of Gork just completely deletes <laughs> an infantry pile, basically. Okay. Yeah, so because our military presence is only three, are you kidding me? It's the legendary lord. Y'all are trolling. Okay, well, we can hire um, more of these guys, which is good because we're kind of running a little low. Um, let's combine them. Higher there, and then devastation is causing three, and we're only getting political instability three per turn. And obedience plus six already. Once we get to 75, does it get even higher than that? And right here, we're getting Obedience 2. We're about to get Obedience 5. That's pretty nutty. Okay, so then is it worth it to repair these? That's 580, 470. Okay, so it's we're going to lose 10 and then 3. Eventually for the extorted income, 3 for devastation. Okay, I, I think it's manageable. <clears throat> All right, we got four more turns here. Huh. They're supposed to like us, sort of, but they're raiding us. Are these heroes spamming me already on my main lord? Okay. What are they doing? They're just like following me around? It doesn't say they're attempting anything on me. Who all are they at war with? Why are they messing with me? They could just be going toward Ausland, and I mean, they do have to raid because otherwise they'll take attrition in my property, so. Okay, Skaven don't look to be doing anything major. Do we want to mess with Dalabic land? <laughs> Probably not. Yes. They're fighting Avatar of Woe, who doesn't like us, but... Okay, so we're even on the public order. Still have some public order problems over here. Could buy more green skins if I want to. Think we can beat them yet. They have a pretty big garrison. We need the rock lobbers. Could try to knock out Kappelberg. I hate to not fight stuff. But then they're going to come over here and knock me out. And this town is giving us a decent amount of income. I guess we just 
run back. Maybe prepare prepare to fight the Skaven. If I start raiding their property. They're almost certainly going to come fight me if I do that. Oh, let me, how many more turns do I have? So this is going to be four turns on that. So I've got seven turns. I want to keep fighting stuff. They're kind of strong, but not really. Don't want to mess with those Skaven. Sorry, I know I keep popping in and out of there. The Skaven are looking pretty strong. So I could just chill. I hate just chilling. <laughs> I want to keep fighting. If I take Kappelberg, then they're almost certainly going to come and take this back for me. And this property, once I sell this, I mean, it's going to be like a thousand gold a turn. Okay, fine. This is the safer way to go. When you get a couple of extra technologies and getting to tier three is a big deal. It's kind of lame that it's just a two, a two town province. No, they're not moving towards Ostermark. They're just straight raiding me, which is annoying. I mean, I could just park it in this town, noggin' off or whatever, just for some public order if I need to. I don't think I should go mess with the Skaven until I get my tier 3, which, man, is lame. that's going to take God, 7 turns to get to the Rock Wobbers. But I can't get rid of my gold mine. We're only getting one more. This feels bad. I also get a uh, Black Orc big boss, which is okay. I still can't believe I'm only getting like one or two public order for my main army sitting in a town. Alright, two turns. I said I hate chilling, but that just seems to make the most sense right now. I have to go crack down on these, uh... Okay, good, the humans are fighting each other. Crack down on these vampire counts soon. Beach off and Do I want to try to... I mean, I do have quite a bit of money. I guess we can go ahead and try to upgrade this. We upgrade it, we can put growth buildings in there. Oh, someone got sacked. How, who who hit them? Is 
Squig units. Uh, plus 10 for Black Orcs is insane. The damage. But... War paint is pretty bad. Pulling teeth. I wish a lot of their units weren't just such like total garbage, but Healy mushrooms and then probably just pointier rocks. And then the loot cart. Sacking and all that stuff. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure. If someone takes that, that would be awesome because then I could complete my province. But I guess Talibic land hit him. Oh, but they must have hit Talibic land back. Huh? This Lamian Sisterhood's looking kind of weak. And. Skaven are okay. It says they only have one settlement, though. Maybe one of these actually is ruins. Okay, one more turn on that. Alright. God, this is so... This is so lame. Like, I do want to go for, um... Like, Fort Jakova or something and just kill it. Like, I could sit here and just multi-sack the same town over and over again, I suppose, but... You know what? I guess public order seems to have stabilized here. I'm not even helping that much. They're not going to like that I walk through their property, but maybe I can underway it. Shit, that's still counting as whatever. I mean, if they want to fight me, I guess come at me. Maybe I should just fight them anyways. I mean, if, if they take Beach off and I can just take it back. I am kind of just like wasting time chilling because... This is going to take, you know, whatever, seven more turns. And I can fight them. I just can't siege their capital without better units. That's possible they're going to come at me soon. Kislev lost a town. Uh, it's just not worth it screwing with Beach often. I mean, this place is still giving me like pretty good gold. I mean, I can't really fight the Skaven right now either. The public order is kind of becoming a problem. I guess we just have to chill, and these guys are like threatening to backdoor. Okay, I mean, I guess we're just, we're just chilling. Let's take seven turns here. I, like I said, I really don't want to just sit there and multi-sack Fort Jacoba. First of all, they might take the capital, but second of all, I think that's, I don't know, not part of my um, code of conduct for my campaigns. Okay, so people are rolling in. Presumably going after the Avatar War. So he just loves raiding me.
Or do, I mean, do I go for the rock lobbers or do I just go for the trolls? I mean, trolls seem like they would be very, very good in the, like, against Skaven, for sure. But even in some of these sieges, like, these trolls are pretty for real. Rock lobbers are, are very nice, though. <clears throat> We're not losing any per turn. I'm just gaining a little bit. I mean, it is nice if we could get a second army up and going. Whenever we get our wall, just so that it, you know, gives a lot more value. I guess we might as well go ahead and upgrade that one. So when you upgrade it, you're getting more growth anyways, and a little bit more obedience. Okay, so beach often. I don't know that that's safe. Public order, that'll also give us access to a big boss. I mean, that pays for itself in basically um, like 14 or 15 turns. I don't know, man. They are eyeballing me hard, though. I guess we can just cancel it if they come at us. It's not like a huge investment. We do have a pretty good chunk just laying around. Okay, now how many turns are left? Two. I mean, it's the second time we've trespassed on Kislev, so it's... They might come at us anyways. So we look weak militarily as well. So that encourages aggression against you. who got them, if that was Skaven or Goblins. As soon as we get a bigger military and we start crushing stuff, we might be able to befriend the Goblins, or um, confederate the Goblins, but... We got one more turn. Right, might as well park it in the town. Okay. That stuff's almost done. Working on that. Probably just gonna put. Um, I mean, if we finish that at tier two, what could we get? We already have a shaman, so we don't need that. Uh, Doom divers are better than rock lobbers in a lot of situations. I don't think they do as well against um, towers, although maybe they do. Rock lobbers are way cheaper. But the Dune Divers are just some of the best artillery in the game. They're just so accurate. Okay, we, we think about it in the next turn or two. Okay. Make sure we got stuff built and ready to go. Alright. Okay, so we could go for a troll building. So we could go ahead and work the rock lobbers and then try to upgrade to tier 3 and then we can upgrade our troll building to get the improved trolls and the troll hag witch which is she's good she also has death magic which I don't know like the the shaman magic is pretty good for this type of army just melee dogpile them at the uh, the gate on a siege and then just foot of gork and just wipe them out I mean you can do like purple sun or something which has a similar effect and is very good but foot of gork is even more devastating I think if they're like perfectly standing still 
Okay, so we lost a little bit of growth. It's annoying, but we already have her self-established. Okay, so 250. This would pay for itself in like 20 some turns. But we are pretty rich right now, so we can go ahead and invest in that, I think. I definitely want this. I don't think there, there's nothing that reduces our construction, right? Yeah, no. Okay, then we have to decide what do we want here? What's more important to us? Rock lighter, um, rock lobbers <clears throat> would also allow us to get a couple of chariots that are okay, like these spiky rollers. Pretty good armor. I mean, even if you can't charge with them, just putting one at the gate, um, they get 20 bonus versus infantry. So they have 50 melee attack, and they armor shred for the rest of the green skins. It's not not horrible. Um, these have like a bigger charge bonus, but not as much utility in an extended siege. These are pretty good. don't need the shaman so it just comes down to what do I want right now do I want the trolls or do I want to try to work towards the rock lobbers I think the rock lobbers I can put the trolls in the secondary town recruitment duration for standard trolls not for the improved trolls and the improved trolls are significantly better. I mean, 36, 32, 120. So a little bit more damage. Uh, 20 more armor. Leadership's the same. Then they also have missile resist and um, magic resist. Or you can go for these, which do significantly less damage. However, they also um, have a nice little debuff versus the enemy. Of lowering their melee attack by a lot and then she has replenished troops which is very good and some you know pretty good magic but I I, mm, I think the wagons will give us some good flanking good utility units and the rock lobbers of course are great on a siege so we'll go with that So that's going to be three turns. Straight chilling. I don't know if I want to upgrade these. That feels a little ambitious because I, I think they're just going to kill us <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, we can go ahead and hire one of these dudes. Start this process. Um, now that will us that will allow us to break walls. We want to use them just to constantly try to break walls. Now, this is ambush for local armies. He does not have to be in an army to make that happen. So, I'll probably go with this. They're very cheap. Only 138. And then we could just spam this on, like, I don't know, Kislev or something. Oh, okay. So, the goblins did take that. So, that makes that province a little bit less appealing. Yes, we're not going to upgrade this yet, just because, again, I'm smelling aggression. And we don't gain that much value out of doing that. Like, we can upgrade these, but th the payoff, it's like 15 turns for the tier 2 for it to pay for itself, and then it's like 23 or 24 turns later. And I think a lot of people don't think about like what else you could be doing and having that cash cushion is very nice and sometimes you know I know everyone's answer is just like and I know a lot of people are thinking of it from like an infinite resources perspective if you play it on a lower difficulty level but it's not always the best call to upgrade every single town to tier 3 and put walls in every single town because the reality is if they really want to attack a town uh, that garrison's not going to stop them for very long. And you're having to devote a lot of resources to try to deal with that. Okay. I think sprinkling in a few trolls is pretty good, too. Even just the base trolls, with all the leadership that we have, the leadership bonuses, and the melee attack bonuses, you know, they have really high base damage and armor piercing, so they're, they're great. 
The problem is if they have a lot of spears at the gate, which sometimes Empire will do that, you gotta be a little careful with that. But they do they did smash that gate down really quickly. So you can throw them over to like secondary gates and have them smash those too. So I'm gonna try that out. Now going for tier two here is just like ten extra growth. I do want to get to tier four. Okay. I guess we'll we'll go with that. Um the question is who do I mess with here? Because whoever I start doing stuff on, they're going to probably aggro us. Fort Jacoba seems pretty upset <laughs> about these trespasses. Skaven kind of looks like an idle threat. Okay, we cannot damage walls there. We're just going to invest money in trying to just level him up. All right. Technology is just about there. Wait. Two more turns and we can start hiring things. Okay. I know we're at 57 minutes. Sorry. Hey, we did get a couple of interesting fights in here. I guess it doesn't take that long just to press next over and over again. I just hate taking that many turns off, but sometimes that just makes sense. Ooh, they're stealing tech. They failed, but they are definitely amping up the aggression here. Do I want to... Can I go after vampire counts? I mean, I could. It says they're orange for now. I haven't even fought New Chaos. Like, they've delayed the spawn of Chaos so much. I was going to do Foot of Gork. Here we go is very good, but Foot is just so clutch. Fighting at the walls, which is probably what's going to happen a lot. So this at first can be kind of expensive to level him up, but we're just going to go ahead and go for, just want to level up specialists first, just so it costs a lot less, and you can just keep spamming stuff on them, just to power level him. Uh, that does power D level. <laughs> your public or um, your diplomacy with the faction, so you gotta be careful with that. But okay, and we're pretty much at time, so I guess we're just gonna have to recruit for next episode. Hmm. Okay, Manfred's up there raiding now. Picking the wrong one, son. Okay. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Like I said, don't want to go over an hour. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Check out the rest of the campaigns. Uh, email me if you'd like to sponsor a campaign yourself. Just $3 an episode, minimum 10 episodes. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.